running for DA, was there, was there a particular victim's story that made you realize you wanted to or had to run for DA? I wanted to run for DA, or I made the decision to run for DA, not for any one particular victim, but all victims. The, the ones whose cases that I've had the privilege to have something to do with, and the many others that I'd never touched personally, but was touched by the stories of what happened to people. Why should a voter care about any of this? Because what we're talking about is life itself. And uh, I don't think I'm being over dramatic to frame it that way. Uh, we deal with people and motivations that make the difference between life and death. We deal with cutting off opportunities for people who would do anything to get what they want, whether it's your wallet, your car, your, your necklace, your watch. Um, we deal with a lot of, I want to use a term as general as bad, but sometimes it fits. <laughs> We deal with a lot of bad people in society. Uh, and, and yes, some of them, unfortunately, have been damaged by events in their own background that they had no control over. But the fact of the matter is, at the moment at which they commit a crime and hurt another person, there's nothing we can do to undo what may have happened to them in the past. But what we can do is fairly deal with the conduct that they committed that brought them before the court system. People should care about this because um, not only are we talking about life itself, we're talking about freedom, right? The freedom, freedom means more than just freedom of government tyranny. It means the ability for you to walk from your house to the store on the corner and get milk or bread or whatever and get back home without being attacked. It, it, it means being able to go to sleep at night without having six cameras mounted around your house in an alarm system to try to ward off people who would come into your house uninvited. It's the freedom to think that your adult daughter could go to work in the middle of the afternoon and you not have to worry about her well-being. Um, that's why people should care about this. And it shouldn't take something happening to them directly or even indirectly before they take notice of what's going on in the community. And uh, what we're seeing in Los Angeles at this time is different. This is a different kind of crime. It's a different kind of motivation behind the crime than we've ever seen before. And part of it is we have people like George Gascon who's making an argument that what these criminals are doing, even the violent ones, isn't that bad and it's not their fault. And this is just part of life and we should all just have to accept it and live with it. If this becomes normalized, then our children and their children will never know the life that we knew, which was imperfect for sure, but was a lot better than what they will experience unless we can get this under control.